Copy a transfer. A transfer? Trent, what? Alpha 3250, you're going to be meeting up with 3252 for an unknown age patient. I'm complaining of neck pain. We're getting this patient from another New Orleans EMS unit because their shift is at Tag Gormley Stadium and they can't leave unless it's super critical. Hi. Unknown age, neck pain. Neck pain. I guess it's at the football, football game. game. All right. Probably going to be a kid and they're probably going to want to go to children's. Growing up playing football, I know how traumatic injuries can get on the football field. So that's all going through my mind on the way there. Alpha 3250, you can show us an area. Look, are we trying to find an entrance to the stadium? Like right here? 10 four. We just got into the gate. Yeah, OK, we're here. We're here. We're coming out there. Head all the way down towards the school buses, and you'll see an entrance. Yeah, we're by there. Hey, what happened? A little neck stunner? Yeah, you should have zigged, you should have zagged, or something like that. It's, uh, it's a football player and, uh, and mom. OK. Hey, what hey. Up? Was that head to head? Mm hmm you Just got some posterior neck pain. OK. The medic that did immobilize him on the board told me that he took a compression hit to his neck, and he went down and was not moving. He told me he got knocked out for maybe 30 seconds or so. It was that hard of a hit. So it's critical that we get him immobilized, not to move his neck, because we don't know what's going on inside the body. What position you play? Uh, special teams and some quarterback in our OK. Can I ride in the back with him? Of course. Oh, yeah. Of course. What's the score? I, I, right there. I didn't even see. It's 20 something, 21. I have no idea. You want to stuff the animal? You good? <laughs> you sure? You, you don't want to stuff the animal? Hold on. We got one right there for you. <laughs> you want a little banana? Is that good? You sure? <laughs> Here, just hold, hold that close to your heart, nice and dear, okay? Got you, man. It is very important to keep the patient calm, talking to him, making him laugh, keep his anxiety down so he doesn't move. Let's rock and roll. Tell me what happened. I fear caught it and head on coach. Oh, you just went straight. Put your head down, right? No, I was like in the middle of catching it and he hit me. Like it was a kick short. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. I'm sorry that happened. Sorry you couldn't finish the game. Helmet to helmet contact is bad because it's generally the person that gets hit. Neck gets hurt. If he did hurt his cervical spine, that's where all your nerves are. That's what holds your head up. That's a really bad part of your neck to break or injure. Still no tingling back here when I'm touching? No, it hurts, so. it, it hurts, but there's no tingling? OK. It hurts. It hurts. You, your shoulder's hurting, too? Yeah. All right. Well, we got you, my man. You in good hands. That football player we had earlier? Yeah. His mom sent me the video of him getting hit. You got it? Yes. They kick it, and then he, he tries to go for the ball. Oh! Yeah, he, he just he just lays out when I seen that. That was all rough. Yeah, and actually, his mom just told me that he had a small cervical fracture in his neck. Not big enough that he's paralyzed, well, yeah. but he was he playing to pro the, football. another day. Hard-hitting, hard-hitting team. I'm glad he's OK. That's all that matters. Well, you ready for the next one? All right, man. Let's do it, Mac. Let's go. We're headed to a 38-year-old male conscious breathing, dislocated his knee. The patient is a Hispanic male wearing a yellow shirt, black shorts. He's on the soccer field. You know, it's funny. He's like, I've hop back in a place so many dislocations. Mm -hmm. People like dislocate their knees, their shoulders. And if I don't think it's broken, I'm like, pop. <laughs> oh, look, yeah. Oh, OK. They're, it's like a team. Feels like you actually did a number on that. It feels like a little bit more than it might just be dislocated. The kneecap looks in place. However, there is a lot of swelling around the knee. This dude 
most likely tore something. Are you able to move on to your back? Okay, we're holding it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and get up on your good leg, okay? And Jeanette's gonna kind of keep uh, keep her hands on your bad leg, all right? Mm-hmm, slowly. Perfect. Is that good? Or you need more? No. Okay. Have you come back right. better? You ready? Yeah, that's it. Round of applause, everybody. <laughs> I know he's in pain, but he's actually tolerating it pretty well. What we can do is we can splint his entire leg to prevent him from bending that knee, and I'm gonna get him to the hospital so the doctors can actually do an X-ray and an MRI and figure out what's wrong. All right, I'm gonna start an IV, and I'm gonna give you some, uh, some pain medicine, okay? What language were y'all speaking? I speak Portuguese. Portuguese. From Brazil. Really? Now I'm upset that I don't know Portuguese. <laughs> I say y'all play out there often? Yeah, this game is supposed to last week, but I don't have enough players. And mm. he changed for today. And I finish your work, and they just come over here. Oh, my god. Now you really don't have right, enough players. <laughs> I'm sorry this happened to you, my man. <laughs> Were you winning? Plus. <laughs> <laughs> man. Put this in your nose, OK? There we go. I'll bring you to the hospital. Thanks. You're welcome. I'm going to try to take it easy. <laughs> you went to go uh, kick the ball, and it happened, huh? I just kicked the ball like uh, some noise, you know? Like I broke something, you know? I mean, to strike the team, you know? <laughs> You're not going to be playing for a little hot second. How you doing on pain? Is it still hurting? When you move, it's a little bit hurt. Yeah. He's most likely going to have to have surgery to correct that knee. He ain't going to be playing soccer for a while. He's going to have to find something else to fill his time while that knee heals. Look, teach me how to say my name is Lindsay in Portuguese. Meu nome é Lindsay. Meu nome? Meu nome. Meu nome. Yeah, meu nome is Lindsay. It's Lindsay. Yes. Meu nome is Lindsay. Yes, I'm a pro, man. All right, I got this. I can speak to anybody now. I'm trilingual. <laughs> a male got on the phone with EMS and stated that the child was playing and had a fall and possibly hit his head. Caller states he picked the male up and brought him inside. He is awake and breathing. OK. It should be this one. Whoa, 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 dog. Oh, little puppy. Little puppy is right following his owner. Almost got hit. Where'd it go? Where'd the dog go? Um, I don't see the dog. Oh, it's over there. OK. But this little kid, hold on, because the kid just crossed the street. Yeah. It's going to be this end house on the corner. Do you want to? Hey. You OK? Yeah? Does anything hurt? What's up, guys? Your head right there in the front. Friends and family members said he was out playing football. He fell. And that they're not sure what he struck his head on, but that he struck his head. You want us to take him up to the hospital, my baby? Yeah, mama. Um, that's his brother. Oh. All right, are you coming oh, with on, us? Man. OK. His brother, he just got back from college. This was his first time watching him. So he definitely was very, very concerned. All right, Lorenzo, put some stickers on you, OK? But you're not even going to feel the stickers, OK, ma'am? I'm not going to break the door. OK. Here, baby. Hold this. See if you're going to okay. throw up. Keep throw your arm down. There for me, OK? Keep this arm down for me, Lorenzo. Uh. During this time, he starts throwing up, which changes the call because somebody had hit their head and lost consciousness is one thing, but now that he's throwing up, it kind of takes it to a little higher level, a little more urgency involved in the call. All right. No, you think that was it? Yeah. OK. So now I'm going to start an IV in case he does continue to vomit. Then I can give him medication to help calm his nausea and vomiting. Is he allergic to anything, though? I don't think so, no. Okay. Have you ever had an IV before, baby? Yeah. Okay, so you know what it's gonna feel like, huh? Real quick pinch, okay? Nice little vein. Hey. Lorenzo, how old are you, bud? Look at me. Talk Ready? To me. How old are you? Ten. Ten? Okay. A good size for ten, bud. 
You are such a little man. I'm telling you, man, you're the champ. <laughs> you did better sure. than most adults do. Oh, I'm telling you. My face. Yeah. Yeah. Where you hit it, huh? Right here? Everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. Okay. I mean, well, you can get back here so you can watch him. That's okay. Here, you want to lean back some? Yeah, just let me know if you feel like you're going to throw up again. Okay. Yeah, that's an old wives' tale. Okay. If he wanted to take a nap, he could absolutely take a nap. The things you need to be concerned about are if the person starts talking and not making any sense, if they're confused, if they get combative. Other than that, keep him comfortable. Bring him on up to the hospital, get checked out. He's a little trooper, I can tell you that. Safe, be strong. Let's do this. Get that stretcher in here. You're gonna bleed to death. Ransom out. Ransom out. They're not dead. I can work with that.